where do you get ideas? Where do you take inspiration from? So they are one of the most popular questions I got during my talks. Well, there can be a number of answers, but the main one is the world which is surrounding me. I look around and often find not an idea only, but also useful assets that can be used in my work later. That's lots of fun actually, and you end up in building your own assets library. Like today, I'm gonna tell about a good habit of taking camera with me. I met last New Year's Eve in Slovakia in Tatry Mountains. During one of the walks I took some photographs and almost all of them can be sort of an asset which I can use either for professional projects or for the personal one. So, look at things, think a part of what they could be, what kind of a story they could support. Look around, I believe it's possible to find a nice and useful thing almost everywhere. Here I get nice picture of dry grass covered by snow could be very useful for some winter foregrounds. And here I have nice horizon line with snowy trees and nice overcast cloudy sky. Or here I got some nice pine trees standing against the bright background, which make them quite easy to cut off. The assets you pick won't turn your artwork into the masterpiece by default, but definitely can enhance it and by adding extra details. I'll show you what that means. Some time ago I was re-watching a retro movie called Fire and Ice, and at some point got an idea to make an artwork having one of the main characters of that movie named Dark Wolf. I start from a very very simple sketch, it's done just for myself, to keep the initial idea in my head. Otherwise, as I noticed, there is quite a chance that I may end up with something completely different. Then I start from Blender, where I do primitive block out using the simplest shapes, just to make sure all elements are working together if given some volume. Later, I used Dust 3D and Marvelous Designer to create basic dummy as a character and dress it into something looking like a clothing. All of it will become a base I will be painting over later. Then I thought if I have a Dark Wolf here, so why not to give him some brothers? I used the rigged model of a wolf I purchased from Sketchfab some time ago just for my personal projects. So now I'm duplicating this wolf, pose him and place him in different locations. Finally I hit the render button. So the base is done and I jump into Photoshop. Here I add extra elements like haze and depth and uh, here's the time for the photographs taken in the Tatry Mountains. Using the masks I reveal specific elements I need and then color grade them using inbuilt color correction tools. Here we have snow texture, some mountain spring and that lovely mud road I mentioned before. Some elements I may use several times.
I use the same principle working with the sky in the background. I just want to make it look a bit more interesting. Here I use another photo from my trip which I need the mountain only so I cut it off using color channels and paste it on the background. Also I add one more layer far away, again just to give it more depth to the whole image. And from here, I mainly just keep painting over the image, adding more details, colors, brush strokes, and overall dynamics. In the very very end, I give one more pass to the clouds in the background and to the sky by making it look a bit more rough rather than calm, which again adds a feeling of overall movement to the whole picture. And that is it for today basically. Oh, you do not necessarily need a fancy camera to take nice pictures, very often a smartphone is quite enough. And by the way, those small pack of the photographs I did during this trip is available at my ArtStation marketplace and it's free. Share results if you use it and if you like this video, follow for more. I've got things to talk about. Bye.